Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and this is our fifth video on how to use Microsoft Word. In this video, we'll be going over margins and page setup, making this video for my friends at Learning Bird. After you're done checking it out, you can go look at some of the other great videos that they have at learningbird.com. In today's lesson, we're going to go over margins page setup. To do that, you go from, normally you start in the Home tab, you'll go over to the Page Layout tab, and we're mainly going to focus on this section right here. There are other things you can do inside of the pages, and that's for more advanced. This is kind of a basic setup. The margin is the first thing that we're going to address. The margin is the space between the text and the edge of the page. You the standard height or normal is to have one inch margins that's one inch between the edge of the paper and the text normally when you're submitting a paper for school the teacher will specify how the maximum margin so that you're not making these huge spaces between the edge of the paper and the text and then you only have three words kind of going down the middle usually they'll ask for one inch margins that's pretty standard if you wanted to have more narrow margins you could select the narrow margins which is a half inch margin on the top bottom and right and left watch the text what happens when I select a narrow margin boom so you saw how the, the text went up now it's very close to the top and it's also close to the right and also close to the left the right over here and left over here if I had the text filling up the page you'd also see it go down to the very bottom I selected less text than a full page you could also have a moderate margin it's a little it's kind of in between the narrow and the normal or you could have a really wide margin where it kind of squishes the text, you see that, that it's squishing the text into the middle there. That's what margin changing does. It basically changes the spacing between the side of the page and the text. Standard is one inch by one inch by one inch. You can select different set up margins or you can choose custom margins and actually choose the size that you want it to be. You could have a really big left margin, a really small right margin. Whatever you want, you can basically set it up inside of here. So I'm going to switch it back to our standard one inch margin and then go on to talking about two other tools that we have inside of our page layout. One is the orientation. The orientation can either be what they call portrait or landscape. Portrait is when the page is like this, kind of vertically set up and down, a standard page the way that you would normally hold it. Landscape is like this, where you're basically turning the page sideways and you can see that it changes the shape of the page side to side. Landscape is usually used for pictures or possibly um, different types of flyers that you might want to use landscape for but if you're printing it out for a document for something you're submitting to your teacher for example you're gonna mainly use portrait the standard setup is setting it in portrait so up and down normal you can also change the size of the page a typical again standard setting is to have it as an eight and a half by eleven that's a standard piece of paper a letter piece of paper like when you buy a ream of paper it's typically eight and a half by eleven you'll sometimes change this most cases you'll leave it the same but if you're photocopying something like for legal purposes like you're buying a house or something and you want to have legal paper you can make it like that It didn't look like it changed much here but if I scroll down you'll notice it's a very long sheet of paper now that's what a legal paper is. You can see the size. Instead of being 8.5 by 11 inches, it's 8.5 by 14 inches, a little bit longer. You also can make envelope sizes and all sorts. There's Down here under more paper sizes, you can make the paper pretty much any size that you want. But the standard of what you're going to use most of the time is a letter size paper. So that's the, the margins, again, the space from the side of the page to the text, the orientation changing it landscape versus portrait there, and the size that you can have are three of the really major parts of a page layout with margins and things of that nature. So I hope that that text in the middle there has been helpful to show you what happens when you change, when you change the page setup. I also want to go over one more thing before this video ends, and that's um, justification of pages. That's back on the home tab where you have
basically four options for how you want your text to show. The one justify sends everything to being flat on the edges. Notice how it looks, the text looks very flat. This is when you're writing a book or something like that, you'll use justification. Newspapers definitely use that. This one here you don't use very often and that's to justify it. Write justified up against this side of the page. Standard again is left justified over here where your your line, your text starts on the left side of the page and moves across. And then you can also use this to center everything if you want. So there's a couple of fun things with the paragraph, a couple of fun things with margin and page setup. Hope that lesson's been helpful for you. And again, check out some other lessons at learningbird.com if you found this one helpful. Have a great day.